car. It's a death trap. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here with this lovely old girl. It is my 1949 Armstrong Sidley Lancaster and we're in Dad's workshop with it. Why? Well, it was here to be out the way, safe, ready for the Festival of the Unexceptional, where I could take the Black Knight in and out the garage easy. So it was here purely for storage purposes. Dad and I, in the previous video, however, decided to take the car for a spin, and Dad noticed that the car was veering off to the left-hand side, and when braking, well, it was also going to the left. He expected it to be something to do with the brakes on this near side, and so has been tinkering with it overnight. The bad news is, however, well, he's found something more worrying than seized brakes. We'll have a chat with Dad, have a look at what's gone wrong, because, well, she is 75 years old, but she needs a little bit more than the brakes looking at. Good afternoon. There, mate. How are you? All right, mate. Uh, you're in the workshop with the Lancaster. Yeah, I'm doing some tinkering. Which, yeah, as I say, we're doing some tinkering on. Um, we took the car for a spin yesterday. Did you enjoy our ride out? Yes, got very hot. I've like been in a sauna. Yeah, it gets hot in there. Why does it get so hot inside the car? <laughs> Just because it's an old girl. That's how things was in the 40s. Yeah, so it the heater... Hot, it was hotter in them days. The, the heater inside the car is on all the time, isn't it? It's well, always... Well, you could turn it off, but I'm not, I'm not liable to do because the code girls get hotter. Yes, it does get hot. And actually, when we got back yesterday and lifted the bonnet, it was, was too hot to touch. You couldn't touch the bonnet. No. Um, so we went out for a spin, the video's on the channel, and we noticed that it was pulling to the left. Yeah. What's that all about? Well, we was hoping it was just a ball joint or something, or the brakes. But I found out something a bit more serious when I've been wiggling about. Yeah, we're going to have a look, but actually, so just tell us, what have you found is wrong with the it's car? It's a death trap. Really? It's, so that's, that's quite worrying. You're saying it's a death trap. That's yes. not something you'd be saying quite lightly. Um, why is it a death trap? Because the chassis is all cracked on the offside front. Uh-oh, let's take a look at that. So to look at the chassis that's cracked, uh, we're going to get underneath the car with the light. Um, Can you see the bugger boy? Not yet. Let me just get in there. I haven't brought me... Okay, go on then. Oh dear. So what is that that's wiggling about? It's the shock absorber and top arm mounting all failed. And that's the bit that's all in there? Yeah. Let's just have another good look at that. Even when you do that, it moves, look. It lifts it all up, yeah. And so would that be causing us the issue that we've got? Or is that something totally well, unrelated? It's not helping, is it? But I'm, I'm, I'm honest, I expected that would be the other side if it was doing something stupid like that. You've described it as a death trap. Yeah. I know the chassis is cracked. Yeah. If I was driving down the road and that failed, what would happen? This would all go flop, wouldn't it? Because that top arm would come off. And it would just all, it would just collapse. Yeah, yeah. Mm, and be undrivable. Yeah. Yeah, right, fair enough. So how have you diagnosed that? I've been laid underneath it doing what I've been doing here. So you've got a crowbar underneath that wheel and we can see the problem. See, I've got the jack under the lower arm. Yep. It's got torsion bar suspension. Because so, that's to take the weight off so I can see the ball joints. Lord only knows what it would be like if you had the weight on. Might not be able to see it with the weight on. So, we've got to do some welding. Oh, yeah, we are. I think we need to fit a new chassis. <laughs> can, you, can you get a new chassis for it, please? Probably not. Oh. So, the welder needs to come out. Yeah. Uh, is it just that that's wrong? There's a little bracket thing that's sheared, and then that's sheared, and the chassis is sheared. Okay. We'll see when we get in there, won't we? Yeah. <sighs> you need to get some... Uh, Boots for the ball joints, though, because they'll collapse when I take it to bits. Right, OK. Now, that's going to be quite difficult. I know the Armstrong Sidley Owners, Owners Club, Club will be able to put it in the right way. Have parts. They've got quite a... They're wonderful. Parts. I've met them. They're nice people. Yeah, they've got a big parts department, uh, which is good. They we can't just nip on eBay, then, and type in Armstrong no. Sidley Lancaster ball joint boots. I was going to nip up to Euro car parts, but uh, <laughs> they've got an IT problem anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. Is it is it definitely a specialist thing, is it? We can't... 
get the measurements and it's like 80 mil across. That's almost industrial commercial vehicle length. No, the commercial ones on eBay aren't as big as that. Talk us through this little, what's this here? Ah, this is my plan. <laughs> I like how your plan is on a chalkboard. Yeah. So the tyres should be 40 well, PSI. No, just, that's what they are. Oh, that's what they are now. Talk us through your plan. What's the plan? The plan? I still don't understand why I've got negative camber one side and positive camber the other. I really don't. Not yet. But I shall do. Hmm. Could it be to do with that? No. Uh. But so if there's... somebody had brought the books, I should have known how far from Yes, the yeah, I forgot to bring you my book. How far from the covers should be. So the plan is, I'm assuming, to weld that chassis back up and then what? Because if that's not going to fix the I'm gonna... pulling to the left problem. I'm going to see what happens. It could it could be that, couldn't it? It's going to be better. <laughs> yeah. It is. Um, so what you're telling me is, until that's welded, no driving? Oh God, no, it's not safe. No. Okay. It's not blinking safe, Robert. Is it a big job? We'll take the body off, I suppose. Shall we take the engine out or the body off? Uh, which, one do? which one do you want to do? I've got an engine crane. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to work around it. <laughs> is, it some, is it something we can do in you situ? Can, you can see it, can't you? Yeah, we can see it, thankfully. I'm guessing the other alternative would have been to take the engine out. Uh, no, take the body off. Or take the body off. Well, it is 75 years old. It was restored in the 70s, wasn't it? I suppose if we started to get to the point where... So we it wasn't very old when it was restored. Mm, well, it was 30 years old, wasn't it? Yeah. I suppose if we are going to get well, to... Then the... they say they don't make them like they used to do. Well, <laughs> well this is wood <laughs> and aluminium. Um, if we were to then start taking the engine out yeah. or the body off. I'm not doing that. No, but if we were, it would then be restoration time, wouldn't it? I'd be painting it. That ain't gonna happen. No, and that's not something that I'm gonna happen because I can't afford, what's it gonna cost to paint this? The car's only worth five grand, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, and it's gonna cost me that in, in a paint gonna, job, isn't it? It's gonna cost more than that, isn't it? Yeah, so um, we won't be painting it anytime soon. It wasn't originally this brown and cream color. It suits it though, doesn't it? <sighs> Does it? Do you think? Uh, it's growing on me. I, I would like to turn it back to its factory black. That's uh, boring, isn't it? Black and chrome. Uh, black and cream, sorry. Black, not black and chrome. Well, and chrome. Look, it looks like a railway coach. Yeah, it does. It looks like a 70s Pullman coach. Okay, well, let's do some more diagnostics yeah. then and have a look at a few other things that are wrong with it. So here's a question. Why aren't you using the jacks that are built into the car to jack it up with? Because that looks like a... No, no, I've got to put the weight under the lower arm, anyway. <laughs> Daft old bugger. But it does have jacks built into the car. There's like holes in the floor and... We've never actually tested them, have we? But um, No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> the last thing we want to do is get them stuck. So what we're going to do, test this side. I'm going to check it and you're going to look at it with your camera. Okay. You know what to do. So what? we're going to grab it, what, just like this? Yeah. And check the play in the ball joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some play in that relay in the middle, isn't there? I can hear some play already. Yeah, that's top ball joint. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so, oh, it's a bit squaddy under there, isn't it? That top ball joint's moving, isn't it? Up and down. It is, yes. Most of it's in the, no, it, no, it is that top ball joint. Yeah, top ball joint, there's some play in there. There is, isn't there? There's quite a lot of play in there, actually. There is, that's why I want to take them to bits and shim them. Here's my thinking, right, here's my thinking. Fire away, Grant. The chassis isn't rotten. No. It's very solid under there. Like, really solid. There's no rust. So why is that cracked? Really big, heavy bloke's been driving it. Well, yeah, you Old age, right. isn't it? It's old age. Mm. Talk us through the process then. What's the plan? How are we going to get round this? I'm going to take it to bits and mend it. Big job or...? Ah, uh, panicking. <laughs> We're not wasting our time anyway. I didn't expect that genuinely from the Armstrong Sidley. I thought it was hunky dory. I should oh. probably have expected it from a car that's 75 that's years why old. We well, that's why we tinker with them, mate. Here's a job we need to address at some point the front grille. Le grille. It's been in an accident, this car, at some point. The front has had a bit of a knock, and someone has rebuilt the front grille, and when they've done it wrong, Le Grill. This is half inch Whitworth. Half inch Whitworth. Oh, it's English. 
Looking forward to this. You're looking forward to it? Yeah, from what? the mechanic in. Well, I can't argue with that. Proper mechanic in. I suppose the good thing about this is, as you say, no computers. No computers, mate. It's heavy old car, mate. It is, what does it weigh? I don't know, mate, you're the enthusiast. Couple of ton. Mm. Certainly got quite a bit of braking distance on it. In go the axle stands. So you've popped them under the chassis, right? Yes, mate. With a little bit of wood. Yeah. And I'll uh, drop it down. Shall I take this wheel off? Please. I don't think I've ever taken the wheels off this. Ready? <coughs> ah! Off she comes. Now we can see the rabbit. Now we can see. I'll pop this to one side. Well, now you want to sit on the wheel. Put the wheel down there so you can sit on I'm it. I'm not sitting on it. It's freshly painted. Now we can see the bugger. Oh, this is the ideal opportunity to totally overhaul the front suspension. Right, let's have a look under there then, see what we can see. I can see a bloody mess. It is a mess, isn't it? Oh, mate, that's nearly fell off, that. <laughs> it's not far as it go. Can you see it? It's cracked all the way back as far as the rear bolts. Oh, yeah. Gee whiz. That's a big crack. Wow. Well, you know what Bob the Builder says, though? The crack there? Yeah. Is that something that's happened overnight? No. Or do you think it's been like that a long time? It's been on its way, hasn't it? Oh, proper mechanic in it. So there it is. There's the brake, there's the crack. It has just sheared clean off, hasn't it? Mm. Poof. Well, that's no good. Taking it off comes the dust. Taking cup. bits off, mate. We're taking bits off. Have you ever had these brakes to pieces before? Several times. Several times. Aha! We've had new. Uh, Bearings of the side, this one seems to... Bearings, are, they, they're, they're, they're sourceable locally, they are. Yep. We've put new brake shoes on. Yeah, new seals in there. They don't sound very good. Anyway, that's least a bit worse. So, I'm guessing all the brakes have to be taken apart. Back plate off, brakes out. Yeah, take all this. Proper mechanic in. Proper mechanic in, that's it, mate. Trailers for sale or rent. Drone to fly in front of me. A drone? <laughs> workshop drone. Now we'll go to workshop drone cam. <laughs> you need a hub puller. Happened. What have you done there? I've spilt all my middle of little taps and dies. I tell you what I did see in the middle of little this morning. What's that, mate? A parkside lathe. Do you fancy a lathe? I told you before. The last thing I want to be doing is chucking bloody sawdust all over my shed. Dad, you've got the Armstrong Sidley. Armstrong Sidley. The Armstrong Sidley inspector is here. Give me a treat, Grandad. <laughs> fetch, fetch treats, Grandad. Grandad, fetch treats. What are you working that greasy old car for, Grandad? Greasy old car. Just tell me what that is. That's a hub uh, puller. It's a hub puller, yes. I'm guessing it pushes against the hub nut and pulls the hub off. I'm not saying anything of the sort. I'm not pushing against any hub nuts. <laughs> You're not pulling any hub nut off. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, she's coming. Yeah, she's coming. Yeah, Aha! Well, they are a bit of bit. There's quaint old setup. If you show the viewers, look, they've got a great big threaded collar in there, and it's also got a pin in it, which locks it from coming undone. So it's a, it's a pain in the bum to change them, really. Hydraulic press. Needed. It's not so much that, it's the fact that you've got to take all these stupid collars and that off. Make everybody happy, you do, don't you? 
What I need is a 1940s screwdriver. This could be the afternoon's work in the 1940s to take this bit off. <laughs> so what is it you're taking off now? It's sort of a little cover that stops the grease getting out. It's a bit primitive, really. We can afford it because we're only charging two shillings an hour. I reckon I've had this off before. What reasoning would that be? I put some sealant on to stop that grease running down the back plates. Ah. It's got, it's got orange surface sealant like you'd have on a Rover 75 cam carrier. What you need is a parts washer. You've got one, it's called you. <sighs> Instead of driving it, you just tinker with it. Why aren't you, why aren't you driving your car? It might need tinkering with. Broken. It's, yeah, broken. It needs, broken. It needs tinkering with. Oh, that's got anaerobic sealer on it. Yeah. Uh, don't think that's original. No, because I put it on to stop. Have you slathered all that grease in as well? No, that grease is that, that, that thing stops the grease coming into the brakes, so it goes out there. Look, the grease used to get on the brakes instead of going through that hole. Oh. Now we can see it. Look. Now you can see it. Oh, we've got big grips out now. I'm using them wrong way on, I know, but it's not that tight. Aha. Big grips are us has done the job. So what is that that you're taking off? Well, I don't really know, but I ain't got the workshop manual, so I can't tell you. I reckon there'll be a nut in there. Oh, there's not. That's where the ball joint is, look. That's how you adjust the ball joint, John. Aha. Uh -huh. Smart. Oh, there is a nut in there. Yeah. Let me get you some rags. Yeah, rags what you need. Right, mate, now we've got a problem. What's that? We need to jack that up. Because when we take that nut off there, that thing will want to go downwards, and that'll stop it. I'll get the jack. In comes Jack, you tell oh, me when. Quick, quick. Come take that end over there. That's it, come in from that end. That's it. Yeah, Jack the bigger up done. Okay, I should be able to get my socket on it now. Okay. Oh, I see. So that's not tight. Oh. There she's off. So the, the ball joint is off. How's it looking? Knackered. I'm not saying anything. I'm not answering that. Well, there is the boot. Yeah, the boot's not very good. Which looks the ball like... The joint's not knackered. I don't know, it looks like a pancake. So what is it you're actually taking off now, then? I'm taking the shock absorber and top arm off. What's that you've got there? That's that bracket that's broken. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at the bracket. Yeah, I'll leave it on there for now so I know where the bug will come from. So that is the piece that's broken. So that's like a safety bracket, is it? It's the end of this bit. Oh. And it goes through there. It is a bit of belt and braces, really. Yeah, you can see. It hasn't been sheared off that long, you know. It's a little bit shiny. I think it's had some modifications done in the past. And that's got some weld on it. So whether it should be welded or not, I don't know. What's next? Got the other two frimming bolts to get off, bud. Right, well it's tea break time and the tea break inspector is here. Come on, Crystal. Let's go find Grandad. I brought you a cup of tea. Thank you, mate. What are you doing? I'm about to take this shock absorber off if you don't get your camera out quick. All right, let's have a look then. Off she comes. Ah. There it is. There you go. Now you can get in touch with the owners' club and have a refurbish one of them. <laughs> put it off. So I'm guessing now we can see where it's broken. You can, son. Let's have a look. Let's get in there and have a shufty. I'm going to get out of your way. No, no, you've got the light. Let's just get in here. Oh, yeah. So that should not be cracked. It's cracked that side as well, isn't it? 
It's actually quite a mess, that it's, is. I think it's got some bird turd welding in there. You think it's been repaired previously? Well, no, because I can't see the join, but it's definitely got some bird turd welding in there. But it's got bloody turdy welding all over it. Well, now we can see the problem. <laughs> it's a bloody mess, isn't it? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Just shine your light up on the top there. And we can see that. So that's where the shock absorber mounts to. Yes, mate. Uh, and that plate has literally just sheared itself well, see apart. The, top, the shock absorber is the top arm as well. Yeah. But it's cracked in two places, hasn't it? Well, it's ripped that bracket also goes through there. It's ripped that off and cracked that. And the other side's okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay, what, well, we've got it stripped down. What we're going to have to do is... I shall nag you. In the middle of the night, you'll get a WhatsApp message. Don't forget to sort Because if you don't get these sorted out... It's going to hold me up. Yeah, no, I understand. I will be on to the stores first thing Monday. Those, these have been fitted by the previous owners. What are they? Well, it's a thing to stop that arm going too far down. They're like a... A restrainer. Restraining strap. Yeah. See, I was hoping that I could get to these bolts, take this bracket off here. And just take the whole plate out? No, no I can repair this bracket separately. Then I can weld that bugger up. Well, I shan't be taking the body off, though. No. I've decided I'm not taking the body off. That wasn't too bad to get to that point. I suppose that's it done for the day, isn't it? It is. I'm going to have a cup of tea, and then I'm going to have a cigarette, and then I'm going to blink him well, tidy my tools up, and... Uh, Leave it with the parts department. Just, I shall, what I shall do is I'm going to send you a text message, <laughs> an email, and a WhatsApp message, then a message to Mrs. John Coopland. Every half hour. But that poor old lady, she has left to top her own washer bottle up. I was watching her the other day. Poor old gal. She's got a car enthusiast husband and she's having to bloody top her own washer bottle up. Well, there it is then. Current death trap and off the road until further notice. As described by Dad, it needs that welding doing and you've seen just how bad that crack in the chassis is. It's probably been like that for quite a while, but certainly has been getting worse recently. It may have even broken yesterday on our road trip. We're also going to need four new ball joint boots for the car, which are 80 mil across. That is big, and I cannot find them on the internet. So hopefully, the Armstrong Sidley Owners Club stores will have some in stock. The shock absorber, the lever arm shock absorber system, also needs a little bit of a refurb as well while we're here. The problem, however, is that, well, parts for this thing are not cheap. In fact, they're very expensive. A pair of brake shoes cost me 280 quid. Well, I say a pair, a pair for the front. And obviously that is for some brake shoes. <laughs> so how much is a new suspension setup gonna be? Who knows, we shall soon find out. Next video, Hopefully we'll see the welding being done and or being done and some more work on getting the Armstrong back on the road. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please. If you haven't already done so, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this video? Tinkering turned into welding of a chassis. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so because your subscriptions, your views, well, it pays for the project. <laughs> Till next time. Have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.